Hello, it's teacher Lena. So I have chopped off my hair a good amount of it and since you all love my short hair to ballet bun tutorial I'm doing a part two It is amazing. I mean, I love you guys love that video and I've been getting so much great comments on it Wait, I'm gonna read some because you guys are awesome <laughs> like this one um like five months ago, someone just commented, Andy Anonymous, just so you know, you have made a positive difference in my life for the year. I love having short hair. I never would have gotten it cut if not for this video. I am so grateful for your comments. And then someone said something about um, having their hair buzz. I wish I had. Um, and Sherry said, I just cut my hair, how I would do my belly bun. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I mean, I love short hair as well. And I remember while I was dancing in company, this is something I loved so much. Now, I'm going to do a second video because I love having even shorter hair. So this is an extremely short cut already. My sister's here, by the way. She is injured and so... Hello, show yourself. <laughs> I'll do one for like wolf cut hair because her hair is quite wolf cut. But um, this is a an even short hair to bun tutorial. So this time around, the hair is shorter. Although this technique works where you split your hair into half and you would dye here and then split it and pull it in, this would still work. But in this case, I want to show you another method because I know some of you have a little bit thinner hair and my hair was thinned quite a bit like they, you know how they do that thing where they thin your hair? So I felt like, oh, this technique wouldn't work. But I remember whenever I get this type of hairstyle before, I would do a specific, an even more specific kind of hair tying method for my hair. Okay, so what would you need for this one? First, you'd need very, very small elastics like these. And then, of course, you'd need your hairnet, the thinner hairnet, maybe. And then you'd need even more, like even smaller or more, um, how do you call this? Smaller pins, so bobby pins. So still bobby pins. It's a lot easier on this type of hair, especially now that my hair is super silky. These type of bobby pins are great for this type of hair. So we're going to start and I hope that this one also helps you just as much as the other video did. So you really will be needing this type of elastic, which is a lot smaller like this. Yes, because, you know, like your hair is a lot silkier and then it needs a stronger hold. Now, the type of tying you would do is different. First off, wait, I have bangs. I mean, if you want to sweep them away, you can just do this if you had bangs also. You would have to partition now in the middle. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You'd be partitioning here right at the middle where you'd be leaving out <laughs> your bottom section this way like that i know some people who just get this part shaved off but you know <laughs> that's that's a whole different thing maybe if your hair was thicker so here we go i do three times i hope this doesn't break and if you feel like you can still use a normal elastic i mean you can always use this type of hair elastic if there was hair on that and, but you, it's not necessarily necessary. So this one's a really short, short, short hair. Okay, next off, you can do the same technique where you half it or you can pull it in as a whole this way. So when you pull it in, you just need the same elastic or you could use the tiny elastics again. And you could go in just to secure it first don't mind the side hairs just in case because you can always drag it in it's gonna be a super small ponytail it's gonna be like a mini pony you can see that Ta -da! <laughs> isn't that cool mm -hmm. so this is how I used to bun my hair so my director wouldn't kill me for having short hair 
and he wouldn't take notice that I actually chopped off my hair. <laughs> and what you would have to just do is tuck this in here afterwards. That way. You see that, guys? Now you can use one of your bobby pins. I'm gonna... Oh! That fell. Zoom in! <laughs> Ta-da! Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> And you're gonna tuck it in this way. Now the downside to this, because the other one was a lot, um, you know, like uh, the other one was a lot easier, of course. The downside to this is that your bun is now gonna be like this. But it's not gonna matter once it's inside of your hair net anyway. No one's gonna really notice. And I think I feel like I made this one kind of lopsided. <laughs> It's like not in the middle, but you could you guys can always adjust, but you just go on and hairpin Wait, I'm gonna bring out my bobby pins Yeah, because I see all these short haired bunch of tutorials thinking these are not This is not short hair. <laughs> I love real short hair, so I hope this one helps you guys and you can proceed by Just just pinning, especially the bottom half is great to pin. Does it look okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Just don't cover it up much, I guess. Yeah. And you can, especially these portions don't stick so much because of the, you know, your hair. This is the portion you want to hairspray, like this, these sides, you know. My right side, the right side of my head usually is a little, I don't know why it's always this way. But um, if your hair is even shorter and it doesn't get the sides, all you have to do is pin or bobby pin the sides and then just hairspray it. No one will really know the difference. Then you get your hairnet. Oh wow, what happened to this? Oh, it's a three hairnet. Oh, okay. And you just place it above it. It's not as clean as the the bottom type one where it's a straight donut but i will say this one's pretty secure also is it clean mm -hmm. okay where you just have to put the hairnet this way uh, and then the hairpin sorry this way so you just hairpin all around i swear it's gonna feel so secure in the middle of your head and here and here because you have a double tie it will feel even more like firm and see is it clean yeah yeah Ta -da! Yes. and actually if you feel like you could put like your own decker's look from the front it's great and you don't see any mess from the side the most i would say would be the problem of this is the sides coming out like this because i often get that where my hair starts to fall this way because it's this sides that usually just come out so if you feel like you need extra security just put a few more pins here on the side and yeah i mean if you want to pin the front of your head you can do that as well so there i hope that this one helps you because i feel like this and the other way of my tying helped me so much through the years that i really loved having short hair so again Let's do a nice swirl. Ta da! So, short hair, like the real short hair. <laughs> so, there. So, yeah, and I used to put like a few whenever I put my headdresses. This type of hairstyle was a little bit easier because it was higher. So, unlike the other one where you do pigtails and then it's a bit lower kind of bun, you can put also your headdresses higher. So, I would prefer this for dances, let's say like Giselle. Well, Giselle's a low bun. But whenever the director wanted it a little higher, I'd do this and then at least I could put the the applique or headdress over here see because the bun falls right here just like a normal bun except instead of it being circle it is now an oblong <laughs> an oblong circle <laughs> yeah but i hope that this helps you guys and it helps you get through all of the short hair that you want to do i hope that um everyone just enjoys this <laughs> i just keep saying everyone <laughs> but anyway
<laughs> I just hope this helps you get through your day because I love my short hair. So yeah, thanks everyone. I hope that you learned something new from Teacher Lina. And again, thank you for tuning in and subscribing and loving all my videos. I appreciate it so much. And have a good dance day, guys. Thank you.